Okay, I'm going to try to show you a quick little repair here. I hate doing drywall because I don't have patience for it. So if you want to do a quick drywall patch and you don't have patience, and in a situation like this where it's in a closet, you don't need to go to all that trouble. Just get your piece of flashing and just something easy peasy. Take, that, take the knob off here. Put that in place where you want it. Take a hammer. Give it a little left tap. That way you mark where you, drill your, where you need to drill your hole. Give me a drill bit here. Go, I'm trying to go one-handed today. Let's see what we do. There we go. Size hole. Get this right. right. All right. I'm gonna go. What I'm gonna do from here? I'm going to take this back off. I got me some kill spray paint somewhere here. It's real nice and white, so I'm gonna spray it the same sort so it doesn't stand out so much. And I'll put maybe some silicone clock caulk on here and hold it in place. So let me get me some paint and get that sprayed and let it dry. All right, here's what I'm talking about. This is really good stuff for spraying something quick and just don't want a flat white, covers up rust and stuff, stains. Really good. So I'll shoot that real quick and we'll put it on the wall. All right, I got the piece all cut, ready to go in place. Just line it up here. I think what I'm gonna do, instead of putting a bunch of nails and stuff in here because it's just drywall anyway, uh, this works really good. This GE clear silicone. I use this stuff all the time. I'll put me a bead on the back side, press it on here, let it dry, dry hold up, put my knob on there, and that'll be done. And I think I look pretty good. Nothing wrong with that. So I thought I'd be a little more thorough and show you exactly what I'm done. So I've got that little bead of cock on here. Try to get it in place. Looks good, looks good. There we go. All right. I'm going to wedge me a paint stick up here against the wall. Just put a little more pressure on it until it dries good. And then we'll be back in a couple hours and see how it looks. So there you go, the final result. Nice and tight. No screw holes, nothing, everything is nice and clean. Uh, this, because this is the main water valve to the house, you can shut it on and off. But the mice sometimes get in there, they don't, especially mice that like to follow the pipe up through the wall, then they get into the house. And you can find situations like this, you know, like behind your stove or behind a sink. Say for instance, you use it behind a sink, and you had the same situation. Let me show you something here. Do something out. Say for instance, this is behind your sink, and you had maybe a, you know, a, a drain pipe or something in the wall and you wanted to fix the hole, and the rats had chewed all this out, made a huge hole in the drywall, and you didn't want to deal with trying to patch it with drywall, just get you some flashing like this. Drill your hole first, then slice your flashing here and here, just here and here. Then you made like two pieces, you can sandwich them together. That way it'll fit nice and snug around the pipe hole. And then you can screw it in place, or use some silicone, whatever you want to do to atta attach it to the wall. And that way, that, that flashing will keep those mice from coming back through again. That way you can cover up all that damage. Do it quick and easy instead of dealing with drywall. I know sometimes, well, drywall is kind of a pain and I don't have patience for it. Plus the rats, mice just chew right, chew right through it again. But anyway, that's all I got. There's the finished result. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. See you, bye.